Hey everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how you can find pop-ups in your area. Now while we're going to be talking, I'm going to be working on some way speeds. I am getting prepared for yet again another event. I am booked and I am busy. I had said that I was going to like take a break in between some of the events that I've done. And guess what? God was like, nope. You got somewhere coming. So guys, I just booked a new event and it's gonna be um, this month. So, so far I have three events, two that are like literally one after each other, the sixth and the seventh. And then I just booked one for the 14th. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm gonna be um, preparing some waist beads for these events that I've got and I've decided to just get on and let you guys know some ways that you can find some pop-ups in your local area if you you know need to figure out where you can do pop-ups you know and I hope that so far your day has been going well I hope that um you know if you're having festivals and uh business pop-ups in your area and you know about them i hope that you're going out and you're supporting your local small businesses guys i am currently working on some elastic waist beads i've noticed that the events that i've done so far like a lot of people are interested in um the elastic waist beads and wanting to go ahead and purchase them right then so what i'm going to do I'm gonna go ahead and have some uh, readily available. I won't have any with clasp available, but I definitely will have some elastics available. While we're talking, I'm just gonna be working on some of these elastics. And you know, one thing about it is that, um, you know, when you have these pop-up markets and even festivals, this allows business owners um, to come out and, you know, uh, provide their service or their product to the community. It brings the community out and it just creates um, a, a lot of different things. It brings the community together, a lot of fellowship, of course, food and fun, things for kids. And it also lets, um, it brings awareness. It lets the community know that, you know, there are different businesses and services within the area that possibly they didn't know about. At the same time, giving small businesses a chance to showcase their products or their services gives you a, a place where um, you can actually do that in case you don't have a brick and mortar. Or if you're just starting out, you want to try to get a feel for being an entrepreneur, a business person, or giving services, you know, or if you just have a website and you definitely want to start going to pop up. So let's just dive right into a couple of places that you can check. Um, for your area to see if you can find some pop-ups because you know the summer hasn't really started yet you have plenty of time to get into these pop-ups and into these festivals for me how i was able to find a lot of the pop-up markets and festivals is because i was invited to a grand opening um for a gym which is hot works and when i went to that grand opening that was actually my very first event and there i was able to network and i met um some tremendous people who then um introduced me to the pop-up markets word of mouth is a is really a great way you know you you ever heard of people say word of mouth is the best advertisement well it, it really is <laughs> and it's a good way to find out what events are going on in your area in your city in your town and so you know network get out there and talk and communicate and meet new people who are like-minded business people or entrepreneurs or even promoters and they can definitely let you know so that's the first thing is word of mouth you gotta you know communicate and network um and through that you can find out where a lot of these festivals and pop-up markets are taking place so another place that you can check y'all is facebook i'm telling you get on facebook and you can search um uh, different groups within facebook for your area so let's just say for example you live in dallas texas so you can get on facebook and literally search what's going on in dallas texas that may be a group right 
Um, and so you find that group, you go ahead and join that group. And then that's an excellent way to find out what's going on in the city of Dallas. Whatever city you're in, whether it's a large city or a smaller town, then definitely there's a group. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find a group on Facebook, okay? And for the most part, most of those type of groups will be public. And so all you have to do is join. Now, if you find one that you're interested in and it's private, all I can tell you is, you know, go ahead and click on there to join and then they will do whatever steps they need to do to approve you to be in that group. So definitely Facebook is a great place to, um, you know, find where, what's happening in your city, what's happening in your area, you know, because entrepreneurs are going to be, be posting and letting you know, hey, it's a pop-up, you know, on, on such and such a date. And then you can go from another great source to find pop-ups and festivals in your area is to um, go to Google. Google is truly your friend. Go to Google and you can look up like your mayor's office because they will definitely be able to tell you, you know, how you can find out what the um, office number is for the, for the city's e-commerce. Or just ask the mayor, hey, how can I find out what is our... Um, County's event calendar. Look, long story short, Google your your city or your towns or your county's event planner or event calendar. You can also check on Eventbrite. Eventbrite will have a lot of different information for events in your area. You can always ask your following on all of your platforms. If you're on Twitter, if you're on Snapchat, if you're on Instagram, make a post, ask a question, do a poll in your Instagram stories. You know, what's going on, you know, this month? Or who knows any, any pop-ups that's going on this month? You know, for whatever city or county or area that you're in. And not just pop-ups, ask about festivals because like literally we are, I, uh, in one of our biggest festivals of the year for my area let me tell you um it's, it's so many people just here in the city for that festival and um i am working at festival by, by the grace of god because i manifested that y'all i didn't know if i was going to be able to work this festival or not and i knew that last year i had started uh, manifesting that i wanted to participate as a vendor for this festival and so I've been blessed to be able to do so. So that's what I'm saying. Even if, let's just say, if you start searching for different pop-up markets and festivals in your area, but let's just say that um, some of the ones that you find have already passed or it's too early for you to prepare, hey, mark it down in your journal, put it on your um, vision board, put it on your milestones or whatever you need to do so that, that next year you'll be ready for that event. So let's see, we talked about um, uh, Facebook groups, uh, communication, word of mouth. We talked about uh, ca contacting your mayor's office for your city's um, event calendar. Your social media is going to be the best place to search to find festivals and pop-ups that's coming up in your area, you know? And I would just say, you know, have fun, have fun with them. You know, it's okay to have a goal and expectations, but I think the main thing is just have fun in the communication and meeting new people and um, being able to network with other business owners, uh, you know, um, bringing your services or your products to the community, being willing to serve the community even after the pop-up or the festival is over with because I guarantee you, you will make connections with so many people that you'll be able to find other, I'm telling you, once you do your first pop-up, your first festival, your first event, you're going to, if you're networking and you're communicating and, and you know, you're going to find other venues that's going to be going on in your area. Even if you don't mind traveling, some people travel different states to do events. So, you know, just don't hesitate, guys. If you find one and you, you, you pray on it and you meditate on it and you feel like that's the event for you and you want to do this event, go for it.
okay go for it and then that way um you will be introduced to so 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 many more because after i did my second event guys i was networking and we were able to really um you know connect with a lot of different uh entrepreneurs i'm dropping beads and let me just pause for a minute i'm dropping beads and if you are a crafter you are a beater you work with your hands and stuff like this if you i'm just gonna specifically talk about beads for a minute if you don't drop no beads <laughs> i think that's part of it isn't it <laughs> if you drop some beads y'all let me know in the comments give me a give let me know in the comments say yes i dropped some beads ciao <laughs> but uh what was i saying <laughs> that's that's real talk right there but yeah, so once you do your first pop-up, guys, I, I promise you, if you're networking and um, you're being vocal and, you know, you're getting out there and you want to meet other, you know, entrepreneurs and business owners, they are going to let you know. Because like I was saying, that's what I was saying. <laughs> After my second event, you know, I was networking. I really connected with a, with a lot of different entrepreneurs. I, I think we're on a way of really establishing um you know, uh, those um, relationships, those business relationships. And so, y'all, my my messages, is that messenger messages? Man, my messenger hadn't been that lit in a long time. <laughs> and I appreciate it so much. And then as I'm finding new events and new festivals, I also let them know it's all about pouring into each other. You pour into this uh, entrepreneur business owner, they pour into you, you pour into them, they pour into you. you you're just, you know, it's, it's really great when you can do that. So just as much as I've been getting so many good um, information on different venues, I've also been able to bless someone else with some information as well. So I didn't want to make this a very long video, but I just want to say uh, good luck to all of you who are thinking about uh, doing pop-ups and festivals and different events um, this summer. I know you're going to do well. The first step is to research, find venues that I uh, that are in your area and that you think you'll feel comfortable doing, do it. Just go for it, guys. You know what I'm saying? Don't uh, don't be scared to step in your purpose. And so I hope that that will help you a little bit. Um, if I if I forgot anything, I'm going to pin it in a comment. But um, guys, yeah, definitely check your area, uh, your local area, and I, I know that you'll be able to find an event that you can participate in whether uh whatever your craft is whatever your service is i want you to get out there and you know go for your dreams so working on some ways y'all and i will see you on the next video